Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Oh, me? I'm not doing anything, really. Just kind of minding my own business. But my business, as of, well, right now, is with you. So, let me talk to you for a little bit. Alright? Yeah, so, as of recently, there's been, uh shortage of sorts. Can you tell me what kind of shortage I'm talking about? Mm, no, it's not about killing. No. Something different. No, it's not about the member count of the proxies. No, it's not about that. Come on, give me another guest. Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! It's about the money. And, well, we're kind of low on it now. You want to tell me... Why exactly? We're low on money. It's because that the uh, little team that I hired that you were supposed to uh, lead. Yeah, they're not coming. Why aren't they coming? Do you know the reason why they're not going to show up for these jobs that get us our money? Hmm? It's because most of them are either in custody or dead. Something happened on that last mission that you went on. The one I assigned you to? Did something happen to all of your crew on that last mission that I sent you on? <laughs> An ambush. Okay. You're, listen. Listen, all right? An ambush happened, and most of your team got arrested or killed. I get that. So, here is the problem. You see, I don't have enough money to hire new people, and I don't have enough bodies to make sure that everything goes smoothly with future missions. So... In my eyes, the way I see it, this is your fault. You were supposed to be a leader. You said I could trust you with this. And you lied in my face. And I don't really like liars. You want to know what happened to the last person that lied to me? Hmm? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <clears throat> come here. 
I'm tell you what happened. It was a long story. I'll try to make it short. You see, when I was released from prison a long time ago, I was getting real close to this detective, and they were very, very nice to me. And they allowed me to live with them. Very nice, very nice place. Allowed me to go anywhere on, until, until they decided to be a little sneaky and they're a little police corp. They uh, found out that I was living with the said detective. And so, instead of firing this said detective about keeping a criminal, well, past criminal, in their home, instead of getting fired or they're letting them go, right? Instead, they uh, set them up on a little mission and they gave this detective cameras and set them up all up in their own home to spy on me. And also there was uh, little police cars following me every time that I stepped out of the house. And guess who was behind it all? That great old master plan. It was the detective. And so, on a rainy night when they were walking back to the home that I was living in, they had to go through an alleyway. And I, uh, well, I found them in this alleyway. I was waiting for them. And I confronted them about the whole situation that was happening. I told them that they broke my trust. And, well, I don't really do well when someone breaks my trust. Do you see where I'm trying to go here? So you know what I did? You know what I did to that said detective? I took out my knife, right? This one in particular. I've kept it for a while. It's very nice. Very sharp. Does the job right. And, well, I... Uh, I stabbed him in the chest about three times, and then in the stomach about f f ten, fifteen times. It was something of a dirty mess back in the alley. <laughs> It was really messy. <laughs> Honestly, you could have, uh, you would have never really noticed how much blood that they lost as I was stabbing them. Actually, you could. It was quite a lot of blood. Yeah. So, I killed them. And then I dragged their body, their bloody, mutilated corpse, into a garbage bin. And, uh, well, not really a garbage bin, more of a dumpster. I dumped their body in there. And there's still a missing report on that said detective. Still out after all these months. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, see what I'm trying to get here? I don't like people who lie to me. I don't p like people who take my trust and break it like it was some fragile twig on the ground. Oh, no, no. Don't apologize to me. I hired you to be a fucking leader. And this is how you do your job. You 
you better make sure that you get this money that I need ASAP. Or you're going to end up just like that detective. But I'm not just going to stab you in the heart and the stomach. No, 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 no. I'll make sure that I cut a smile into that fucking mouth of yours. And I'll make sure to cut off those eyelids so you can watch every single fucking second of that I tear you open like a goddamn pig. Now, you better go get a new team. And you better go get my goddamn money. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Good. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> well, now... Let's see who I can have a little fun with, huh? 